The James Webb Telescope stands as an extraordinary and monumental scientific feat of our era, representing a pinnacle of technological advancement and investment. It surpasses all previous endeavors by NASA in the realm of space observatories, boasting unparalleled capabilities and precision. Through its lens, we are granted captivating glimpses of the mesmerizing nebulae and star clusters scattered across the vast expanse of the Milky Way. To stay abreast of the latest developments concerning the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other celestial events, simply hit the like and subscribe buttons. Without further ado, let us embark on a journey through these awe-inspiring images. With this photograph, we get our clearest look yet at the center of the smoke without fire, Messier 82, M82, dubbed as the Cigar Galaxy. M82 is both extraordinarily bright and close to Earth. It is filled with dust, newborn stars, and blazing gas. About 12 million light years away in the constellation Ursa Major is where you'll find the starburst galaxy, the Great Bear. The Cigar Galaxy has been photographed before. Previous pictures depict a galaxy bursting at the seams with stars, but this picture looks nothing like them. Instead, the stars are nearly invisible against a backdrop of blazing gas and dust. About 12 million light years from Earth is where we find the Cigar Galaxy. This image of the galaxy NGC 4214 was captured by the latest camera aboard the James Webb Space Telescope. It is a fantastic target for studying the birth and evolution of stars. A massive luminous cloud of hydrogen gas, where new stars are being formed, dominates much of the galaxy. In the middle of the galaxy, NGC 4214 is a heart-shaped cavity, which is probably the most striking aspect of the object. Among the young massive stars contained within this void are several with temperatures between 10 and 50,000 degrees Celsius. The bubble was caused by the stellar winds from these objects. Because of the lack of gas, these characteristics prevent future star formation. The galaxy designated NGC 4656 can be seen in the Canes Venetici constellation, the Hunting Dogs. However, it is also known by a name that's a little more intriguing, the Hockey Stick Galaxy. This is because the galaxy is structured like a long, twisted stick that stretches out into space until it curves around at one end to make a remarkable copy of a cosmic hockey stick. The reason for this is not entirely evident from this partial view, which only displays the brilliant middle region. This is a view of the beautiful galaxy NGC 4452, which appears to be facing us edge-on from Earth. As a result, we have an incredible image of billions of stars seen from a novel perspective. The central luminous core is clearly visible, as is the extremely thin disk, which from our vantage point appears to be a perfectly straight line. A faint ring of stars around the galaxy's periphery helps to round out the image. A group of galaxies forms a galactic cluster, the Virgo Cluster, of which NGC 4452 is a component. It gets its name because so many of its constituent galaxies can be found within the Virgo constellation, the Maiden. About 2,000 galaxies make up this massive cluster, which is located roughly 60 million light-years away. Leta 36252, also known as Kiso 5649, is a little galaxy seen here in a new image from the NASA ISA James Webb Space Telescope. Because of its bright head and extended tail, this galaxy belongs to a group of objects known as tadpoles. This galaxy is about 80 million light years away, therefore it is not too far away. Tadpole galaxies are unusual in our neighborhood of the universe, but quite frequent in the larger cosmos implying that many galaxies go through this stage in their evolution. For comparison, Webb's near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and mid-infrared camera, MIRI, obtained this image of the Southern Ring Nebula, NGC 3D132. The sky image is oriented by the north and east compass arrows. 
Note that north and east in the sky as seen from below are flipped relative to ground level direction, arrows as seen from above. Light traverses one, Earth year. Hence, the scale bar is designated in light years. Light travels the length of the scale bar and 0.25 of a year. Light years are 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. This image covers 0.25 light years. This image shows visible light used from unseen near mid infrared wavelengths. The color key displays which NIR cam and MIRI filters collected light. Each filter name represents the visible light color of the infrared light it passes. In James Webb Space Telescope pictures, JADES, the ultra deep field of the Hubble Space Telescope, is located here and to the north and east. Using Webb's NIRCAM equipment, researchers studied the area in nine distinct infrared wavelength bands. The scientists use these photos to look for weak galaxies whose infrared light is detectable but whose spectra end at a specific wavelength. They used Webb's NIR spec instrument to reveal the characteristics of the gas and stars in these galaxies and estimate their redshifts. In further observations not shown here, blue stands for 1.15 microns, 150W, green for 2.0 microns, 200W, and red for 4.44 microns, 400W of illumination. As you can see, NGC 6753 is a kaleidoscope of colors. The blue flashes across the spiral arms represent regions loaded with young stars burning brightly in ultraviolet light, while the redder parts are populated with older stars emitting the cooler near-infrared. The process of galaxy creation is still a mystery in astronomy. Despite the progress made over the past few decades, no single hypothesis has been able to explain the origins of all the galaxies we see across the universe. And this is because galaxies occur in a wide variety of forms and sizes, including ellipticals, spirals, and irregulars. Star birth in the nearby dwarf galaxy NGC 1569 creates gigantic bubbles and superbubbles that fill the galaxy's main body. The galaxy's energetic star factories produce beautiful blue star clusters. 25 million years ago, this galaxy began star birth, which stopped around the time the first humans appeared on Earth. Hydrogen gas bubbles light when impacted by hot young stars' winds and radiation and supernovae shocks when big stars died 20 to 25 million years ago. Supernovae exploded the environment in NGC 1569 is still turbulent, and supernovae may not only provide the gaseous raw material for star and star cluster formation, but also caused their birth in the swirling swirls. With the help of the NASA ESA James Space Webb Telescope, we get a peek into the Milky Way's central region, where an incredible number of stars live. Our galaxy is largely hidden by dust. However, this amazing view of a trove of stars was captured by Hubble when it gazed into the Sagittarius star cloud. A small dust-free zone, many of these precious stones are among the oldest life forms in the Milky Way. In order to understand how our Milky Way evolved, astronomers have turned their attention to the oldest stars in its core. What level of awe do these breathtaking JWST images inspire in you? Which photo interested you the most and why? Please share your thoughts by leaving a comment. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date on all things related to NASA and the James Webb Space Telescope, as well as the rest of the cosmos, click the like and subscribe buttons. Keep an eye out for our next video. See you soon.